Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing a few travel accessories from Bays. So I really want to thank you guys for those of you that watched my work tote review and unboxing. Um, I think I also had like a travel one and I left the referral code down in the link below. So, so many people use that and I was actually able to get all of these three items for free with rewards. So that was just a personal referral code. I'm not affiliated with Bays. I just really love their stuff. And um, I wanted to thank you guys and I also wanted to just do a video on the items so that way y'all can get another review on these items. I'm actually really excited to use all these. I have a trip coming up. So in this video, I'm also going to pack the cosmetic case for that trip and then set up this organizer. So I have three different things here. So we have the seatback organizer, which is actually currently on sale for $24. Um, otherwise it's normally $34. We have the flat iron cover that retails for 28 and then the cosmetic case in black which retails for 58 um if you purchase something from bays you get points if you create an account and then you have the option to get these options for free as well just to kind of show y'all how it looks i don't know if y'all can see this but here is what it looks like when you have a rewards account and so you collect points and so you can get um, a few different items. So they have the Weekender in beige for 980 points. The Seatback Organizer was 340 points. The Flat Iron Cover was 140. And then the Cosmetic Case was 240. And so um, you can get these for free. And if you order them with something else, it's free shipping. Um, I didn't order anything else just because I'm waiting to get another suitcase for when I actually need it. So I just paid for the shipping and it was like $10. So I didn't mind spending $10 to get all of these items. So that's a little context. And a thank you again for using that referral code. So as I mentioned, I'm going to share all of these and then I'm going to pack up the cosmetic case for my trip that's coming up and then also set this up as well. So let's start with the easy one. So we have the flat iron cover. So you have a nice canvas and then you also have um, a pocket on the back with the Bay's logo in this like patent nude um, stitching and it's actually really nice. So I brought my straightener so we can test it out. So I have the dry bar something or other. I don't know what it's called on top of my head. Um, but it's like an average, it's an average size straightener. So that way y'all can get an idea of what it looks like inside. So the best part about this heat protector, it's not just a cover, but it's actually heat resistant. So you can turn off your straightener and you can actually put it inside of here and it's okay. So it has that lining in there. So if you're like straightening your hair, you're running late and you just need to pack it up, instead of wrapping it in something, you can just put it in here and it's perfect. it'll be perfectly fine. And then the back is so you can tuck the cord in. And then you have the cord tucked in and it's ready to go and ready for you to throw into your suitcase or even your bag if you have like a big bag that you're taking with and you just want to straighten your hair up at the airport. I want to see if, like, I don't know if I want to tuck the cord in there. So I want to see if it fits with this wrapped, with the cord wrapped around. Yeah, so it still closes if you wrap it up. So I'll probably do that. And then we have the seat back organizer. So I think this is an underrated accessory. I know I haven't even used it yet, but I'm really excited to use this because if you saw my travel vlog, I believe I mentioned, um, I gave like a mini review of the base tote and I mentioned that it's hard to get things in and out. So I truly think that the Bayes work tote is the best travel bag. I'd never want to travel without that bag. And it fits perfectly underneath the seat. But at the same time, the issue is that it fits perfectly underneath the seat. So it was like a struggle to get things out like my laptop or my iPad or something. And so um, this will be perfect because I can when I'm sitting down, pull this out and have like my AirPods, my phone, um, and everything I need in here so I don't have to go back underneath the seat for whatever I want in flight. 
guys. So um, I'm really excited to use this on the trip. So I'm gonna do a travel vlog again. So I'll share what that looks like. But here's, I don't know if y'all can see it on the phone. If not, I'll just insert an image. But um, if it's your AirPods, you can put your passport in it. You can fit your iPad. You can put your glasses in there. You can put your jewelry in here. That's an option if you just wanna use it to pack. Or I'll probably put like pins and stuff that I need. I might pack my planner accessories in here and use this to like plan also. But what I'm gonna use it for is probably for my phone. If I don't have it in my hands, but just to show y'all too that it fits, um, I'll have it tucked in there. Or if I wanna sleep, cause that's probably an option. Um, I have my AirPods, so these are the second generation. So I'll tuck those in there. Or you can also put them just in here if you don't want them flying around anywhere and then when you're in flight just tuck it in here to grab it if that makes sense because like my worst I don't know my worst fear is the stuff shifting around during flight or when you're like in, in the airport in between planes so I like having everything kind of secured so you can also if you want to use your mouse put you know the mouse in there so here's an apple mouse that fits perfectly um, I don't use that much on the plane. Oh, I'm just for fun going to put in the Louis Vuitton small ring agenda because it looks like it'll fit. Ooh, it fits. You can fit your planner in here if you have a pocket planner. Um, so that's actually really nice. And then again, it just tucks into the seat in front of you so you can grab it whatever you need and then you look super organized as well when you're on the plane. And then I have my iPad too just so y'all can see what it'll look like with all the stuff in here. So there's that. Again, I'm really excited to use this on the plane just because I love the work trip bag for traveling but I just hated getting stuff out and with this I can keep everything that I need in here and then just easily pull it out when I sit down and then don't have to worry about reaching inside my bag for anything because I can put anything that I need in here. You can also put like a book in here if you want to read. But we have that and then um, I'll probably put the Apple Pencil in here too. Again, just so it doesn't shift. But that is what this looks like. And then the last item is the cosmetic case. So this actually came in... I wanna say like a month ago to be honest with you guys. The other two just came in today, but I've had this for a while and I've been using it in the bathroom just to store things. And I really love this cosmetic case. It's probably um, my favorite cosmetic case that I've ever purchased just because it's so convenient. It's so, like I just love every like thought and detail that went into this. I also love the size because I'm a carry on travel person only. I only bring a carry-on and space is so important and with this I fit so much stuff in here. It's it, it's honestly crazy because it doesn't look that big but it's so spacious and it just fits everything that you need. So um, for dimensions on this one it is 9.5 inches in width, 4 inches in depth, and 7 inches in height and it comes with so many options. So there is a removable brush holder with hidden magnets and so I have bobby pins that are stuck on here right now um but you can choose whether or not you want to use this and you can store all your brushes in here there's a spot on the back to hold like hair accessories or whatever you need um, but if you don't want to use it even though it takes up like no space you can just take it out or if you need to take it out while you're traveling um just to have like access to your brushes you have that flexibility and then it just like snaps on there's a little pocket over here with a mirror and so it's a compact mirror and it just tucks in and if you don't want to use it you can put something else in here and then in here you have two like you have two slits on the side so i have like hair ties in here I have to put the bobby pins on the other side maybe just like this or i'll just put them on the outside here and then i can use that for something else so i am going to be gone for a week and or a little over a week and so to show y'all what it looks like i have to go pick up like extra dry shampoo and stuff but y'all can get like a great idea of how much this actually fits with all the stuff that i brought so. and so i have sunblock from tula just gonna shove that here 
hot toddy heat protectant. Um, I've been breaking out really badly, so I have acne spot treatment in here. I have this little Chanel like sample bag that they give you at the store. And in here I have like a sample makeup remover. I have the number five um, bath tablets. I think I put like two in here and then I put eight shower gels in here so I can travel. I might put in one more just so I have a spare just in case, but I have like all my body wash and stuff in here. And so I'm just gonna put this down here. In this bag, I have all of my Tula products. So I have um, day and night cream, eye serum, there's some face wash from Chanel, there's some Q-tips in here, uh, face cleanser, I see what else is in here. There's just a lot. Moisturizer, because my skin gets really dry whenever I travel. And then some more day and night cream. And they're small, so I don't mind breaking a lot. But we have all this, and then let me throw this in here too. I've been using this, so I took it out. So have all that. And so I'm just gonna put these kind of like back to back over here. And then I have my normal size brush. I lost my travel brush, I have no idea where it went. Um, but we have that, and then um, I found my old dry shampoo, it's empty, but just so y'all have a reference, we have that. Deodorant, full size deodorant, throw that in there. Um, I brought my brushes so we can put the brushes in the pack. Um, this came in a cloth and paper subscription box, so I think I'm actually gonna put this stuff in here. just in case y'all have like other items that you like store in. So we have that. I have my Chanel makeup case. And so this has just a few, well, a few <laughs> has two eyeshadow palettes. I'd like to take the samples with me when I travel um, because I just think that they're the obviously the perfect travel size. So I have like a sample of mascara, um, another one for the Revolution and then the base mascara. And that way I don't have to bring my full tubes there. Um, I have eyeshadow primer, my eyeliner, um, a sample, perfume, another mascara that I already opened. Um, I think that's everything in there. So, and then I could even put the deodorant in here if I wanted to. So I'll just put that on top for now. Put that there. I'll put the brush in here. And so I can put my toothbrush and toothpaste in here. I have the toothpaste. I need to buy a travel toothbrush. So I'll probably get that while I'm over there. Um, but we have that. And then I'm going to put the brushes in here and then show y'all that it fits all of this stuff. but it fits all of that and it closes. So again, it fits so much stuff and it's perfect. So if you're a carry-on traveler, I highly recommend this cosmetic case. You can fit all your cosmetics in here. Like this is everything that I'm going to need. I don't need anything else that's not in here. And that's amazing because before I would have like a bag for hair stuff. I'd have the Chanel case for my makeup, a black train case to store everything in. So this is just nice that everything fits in here. So other than that, that is it. And that is these travel accessories from Bays. I hope you guys like that. That is gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Mm -hmm.